Hello everybody, my name is Copix and welcome to 5 to 7 business days at Frankie's. This is the VR version because I went and got my headset out for reasons you don't need to know. And that is the end of that story. I and just was I had it out and I was like, you know, I have spent many a dollars on games that I just haven't played. And I just, I need to play some games, bro. And I'm already kind of a little bit nervous about this. I have a timer going because this doesn't record for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go get a thing that allows me to bypass that. And the best way you can support this channel, by the way, is going and subscribing and liking and commenting and then sharing with your friends. And uh, I, I have some things that you can donate to if you wanted to, but uh, obviously you don't have to. And go to the Dragon's Treasure Tea, of course. I haven't played this except for that one time. Hi. Hello. Except for that one time, the first time I ever, I have to find the volume. Right there. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience. Is this what it's like to be tall? Is this what it's like to be CL? And while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them say. were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been lies. fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game. Hilarious. That we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. You acknowledge that Fazbear oh, Entertainment is not responsible oh, for accidental digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Real world, real world manifestations. Well, if that ain't just a little bit scary. You know, number one thing to do always is make sure that you sneak around and push things you aren't supposed to push. No. Okay, so how many do I have here? Sorry. I have all the first FNAF games. Uh, let's go to the prize counter because we got to be looking around, obviously. Uh, ooh, what is this? Can I eat it? Maybe? I grab it. What's in here? It's the trash. Ooh, gumball. You are not making this hard for me at all, buddy. Oh, I want that. I want that one. I want that one. How do I get it? Um, ball, please. Nice. Okay. Where's the hoop? I wanna. He's got the. Looks like I may have goofed it there, bud. Hmm. <laughs> 
my heart is not ready for this. Ugh. And I'm sorry if the audio is a little... Ah! Oh! Listen, I don't know who you are, but I'm a master at giving you a knuckle sandwich. That's what I call the one, two, and then the one again, but on the other hand, the, the one, two, three was taken, apparently. It was a little frustrating. Uh, you would like a candy? Ha! Okie doke. I don't really want to do night one. I really don't is a thing, I don't want to do night one. So I'm just gonna scooch on over to my favorite until I learn how to not be afraid of this stuff. Dude, this is, this is, me like, it's like, it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. It's really scaring the crap out of me. There's an old man sitting next to me. Wait, that's Bonnie and he's gonna eat my face. Welcome back to oh, Arts and Service. It's okay, don't worry Hello. about it, man. Don't worry it about like it. looks like Bonnie's it's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You okay. must be as precise as possible when removing okay. the eyes from their respective sockets. Yeah. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Bonnie's left eye. Let's do this. This is my left, which means this is your left. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Mm. Well done. We now need access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press it was the, the green one. button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is yeah. in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. You think I remember that? Um, um, the same order I'm, I'm, I'm left. To his left. I don't have time to care all that much. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. I don't want it. I don't want it. You see, here's the thing, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't like scary things. You see, scary things make me scary. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the Fazbear virtual experience. Please be aware yeah, that there may be visual great. artifacts left behind from the beta testing phase of development. If you see any such artifacts, 
We recommend that you not interact with them. We'll weed them out eventually. There's no guarantee that we'll weed them out eventually. I hate it. I hate it. Are you an artifact? Hmm? Hmm? Are you an artifact? Am I an artifact? Are we an artifact? I believe that we are the artifact that he is talking about. It, I didn't like, I hurt. I hurt is, is the issue. And you may be going, oh, but that's not one of the biggest scares. And that I'm not a fan of. Um, I deserve all of this and this hat. Do you ever figure out what showtime is? I don't think so. I remember this song from when I was a child. Oh, deathy boy, the death, the death is coming. Ooh. What are you doing? Now, I'm not the biggest FNAF lore guy. I don't know as much as, say, the MatPat or the Markiplier or whatever. Is, Is that, that the, the bite of 87? 87? Who knows her? Um, but that sounded a whole lot like, hello, can you help me? And that's some lore stuff. Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? Maybe here. This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look. Beta testers? And in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen. I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. Well, I found I saw them it for the first time today. There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Yes? I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really oh, feels like skipping? this project is in trouble. In no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. But as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Okay. Well, that's... Creepy, creepy. Do I get the coin? No. I want out. I want out. I don't... I want out. I don't want to be here. What next? Maybe, might as well do night one. Well, I'm sweaty, and I don't like that. Smash like if you like that. I'll send you a bottle of gamer sweat. Let's start the, start the, start the game. Yes. I've been working that office before you. I'm finishing my 
I'm not mentally ready for this. I need to see the life. I need to see the light. This is, this is not okay. This is not what I want. It's too late for this. Why did I think this was a good idea? I think I'm just gonna leave it at this one. I just, my body can't handle it tonight. I'm just like, nah. Nah, it ain't happening, bros. I'll, I'll deal with it at night when I'm just like, yeah, let's get into it. Right now my mood is, no. No. Just no. So, thank you all so much for joining me on this episode of Minecraft. And I will see you in the next video when I actually get it. Good. straps go around my hand. I don't remember ever doing that.